Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is part five on getting started with handlebar.js. So you so far you have learned a lot on handlebar.js. Now let's step up the game guys. Now remember when you were writing the if statements initially we had to do this right. If handlebar we basically registered that template and if that condition was we said like this one and then we said if the age is greater than 25 do this or do that. But instead of doing that, won't it be amazing if you can just write the syntax right here? Like you can just say, hey, if age is greater than equal to 25. Well, it seems like if you want to do that way, so you have to write some additional code. So here is basically uh, the same if condition, but I have registered the template. It takes v1 operator v2 option. Based on that, it will basically set the appropriate value. So here you can see for equal to equal to equal to equal to equal to not equal to greater than equal to less than equal to and stuff like that. So now you can use right here less than equal to like 25 and it will work like charm. So this is how you would basically uh, use. Um, so what I'm trying to say is basically you learn the basics right now you know how to register a helper you do you know how to do some uh to upper to lower and stuff like that now instead of doing that uh we made our own um if cond basically which basically can check different operators or operations like less than or and and stuff like that and you can use right in the code syntax like that uh so hope you have enjoyed uh, this small walkthrough the snippets is there in the description this is part five and in the upcoming videos, we'll be learning more on handlebar.js, like animations, loading animations. We'll be doing uh, highlighting and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. See you in the next two tutorials. Goodbye.